Here's a Moto G Power, the 2022 model, and you have an issue where you're stuck in a boot loop, basically where it keeps restarting over and over. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions that you can do right now, N nothing to do with taking the phone apart or anything, okay? Now the first thing I wanna note is that this phone is fixed, but we're gonna pretend that we're stuck in a boot loop, okay? So first thing you gotta do is this. If you have a case on here, take the case off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart it using only the power button, okay? So what you want to do with the power button is you want to press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear. Then you can let go of the power button. So let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Here's the power button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold the power button. Don't worry about what's happening to my screen. Just pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. So I'm just holding on to that power button. Just wait, be patient. Okay, now when you see the Motorola logo, let go of the power button. Still holding on the power button. There's the Motorola logo. Go ahead, let go, and hopefully it boots up normally and you are now out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, then we're going to go to the next possible fix. Okay, so if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Next thing we're going to do is this. So go ahead and grab your phone like this and see the power button right here. What I want you to do with the power button is I want you to press in and out three times kind of hard okay so one two three just like that just to loosen it up maybe you got it stuck or jammed or maybe there's lint or coffee or soda in there now after we do that the next thing we want to do is go ahead and grab your charging cable we're going to go ahead and plug that in after you plug it in wait about five seconds so now it's charging okay so again let's pretend i'm stuck in a boot loop while it is charging now, we're going to do the same thing with the power button. Ready, set, go. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see a Motorola logo appear. So I'm still holding on to the power button here and it's charging, it's plugged in. Just wait. Now once the Motorola logo appears, let go of that power button. There it is. Let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, then we're going to go to step number three. All right, so if you're still stuck in a boot loop, the next thing we're gonna do is this. You can go ahead and unplug your phone. And what we're gonna do next is what I call the tap method. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the phone in our hand like this, and we're gonna use our two fingers like this, and what we're gonna do is tap all over the screen and all over the back of the phone. The whole premise behind this is it's very possible that you have a ribbon that's slightly dislodged or disconnected, and a little tap can pop it into place, okay? So we'll do this together. Let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Hold the phone like this and just use two fingers and we're going to tap kind of hard on the screen all over. Okay, and sometimes as you're doing this, you'll notice that you'll get out of the boot loop. Okay, but if you're still stuck in a boot loop, you're doing this, no problem. Just keep on going all over. Same thing on the back side. Okay, all over. Give it nice hard taps, even on the uh, camera lens. If you don't want to dirty up the camera lens, you can put like a cloth on there or whatnot. And just tap kind of hard all over. Now go ahead and turn it over and see if you are out of the boot loop. Is it still stuck in a boot loop from here? No problem. Remember, press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear. Once it appears, let go. Okay? Well, hopefully you guys are up and running now. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, then we're going to go to the next option. Okay, so the next fix I have for you is what I call the massage method. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the phone like this, and we're going to grab our two thumbs, and we're going to press, we're going to massage it. All over the screen and all over the back and the same it's the same premise with the tapping okay you may have something a ribbon or a cable slightly dislodged if you don't want to dirty up your screen you can get like a cloth or something but basically what you want to do is hold it like this and my hands are on the back now as I'm pressing in I'm pressing on the back too okay so you want to give it like a nice massage keep on going all right pretend my phone is still stuck in a boot loop here just keep on doing this. And sometimes you're doing this, you'll notice that you'll get out of the boot loop, okay? But if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Same thing on the back of the phone, okay? We want to press in, press in, press, press. Sometimes you hear a little, like, click. If you, if you hear a click, just turn the phone over and wait, like, 30 seconds and see if you are out of the boot loop, okay? Anyway, if not, no big deal. Just keep pressing. All around the camera lens here, you want to press press all around there give it like a nice massage turn it over see if you're out of the boot loop still stuck in a boot loop no problem 
If you're still stuck in a boot loop, then same thing. Press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see a Motorola logo appear. Then let go. And hopefully you are out of the boot loop now. Now, if you're still stuck in it, the next method I have for you is what I call the smack method. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold our hand out like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to smack all over on the screen and also on the back. The same premise with the, uh, the tapping and massage method. You may have something slightly dislodged, like a little ribbon cable. Okay. Anyway. Hold the hand out like this. You can put a cloth on if you don't want to smear up your screen. I'll start off on the screen here, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a couple of whacks also on the bottom of the screen. Give it a couple of whacks like that. And you also want to go on the back of the phone as well. Give it a couple of whacks. The bottom back of the phone as well. Turn your phone over and see if you are out of the boot loop now. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Same thing. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola logo, Motorola logo appear. Then let go. Now, if your phone is still stuck in a boot loop, then the next method I have for you is what I call the freezer method. What I want you to do is this. With your phone like this with naked or no case on it, I want you to put this into your freezer leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 or 20 minutes, grab your nice cold icy phone out of the freezer and just tap the power button and see if that you are out of the boot loop now. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, no problem. While the phone is nice and cold, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear, then let go. Now, the thing is, if you tried every single step in this video and it still didn't work, then what I would recommend is try every single step again. Try it two times, three times. Try it at least up to like seven or eight times, okay? If you tried it at least seven, maybe eight times, I'm going to say at least 80%, maybe 85% of you guys should now be out of the boot loop, okay? So if this worked for you, uh, please comment which method worked for you or which combination of methods you think worked for you so that others can see as well. And if it didn't work, Give me a thumbs down, okay? Good luck, guys.